this looks better so this is our final image and i hope uh, by watching this video you were able to understand how we can design the neutrophil what is the function of neutrophil why why it is important why there are granules inside neutrophils what is phagocytosis what is phagosome and um, you also knew how to actually create the neutrophil using simple powerpoint software okay so we're going to start with some of the basic layout of the neutrophil cells so these are eukaryotic cells so we're gonna make uh, something irregular it's not oval a little bit Ill, irregular shaped structure and after that i'll try to make some of the important components inside the cell and so on and so forth okay so i'll start the designing process i'll fast forward the video and if you want to see what options i'm using you you can basically slow down the video and see if you can understand if you have any questions then please put your questions in the comments section and i'll try my best to answer those okay let's get started Okay, so you can see what I have designed here is just the outline. And in that outline, I have filled it with violet shade. And then in the center, you can see gradient is there. So you can use this option, which is gradient fill and create this sort of artifact. And what else I have done is outline is little bit darker than the than the color that i've used to to color the cell that is also something i've seen when you do this it looks much better so this is the outline of the neutrophil and now we're gonna go inside and design the basic uh, other basic structures Okay, so I've made the second structure, which is the nucleus in case of neutrophils. So let's let's little bit, you know, go deep and under, try to understand what are the what are the meanings of these structures. First thing is I've made this irregular structure, so that represents basically the neutrophils. Neutrophils, they are they are they can be of different type of shapes, but I'm trying to show that the membrane is a little bit elastic in nature another important point is neutrophils they are known as uh, leukocytes they are they are also known as polymorpho nucleo nuclear leukocytes what that means is they contain this nucleus which has this unique structure and as you can see it has i made three different lobules that are seems like getting connected together uh, so the nucleus is not having that typical round shape, but it's pleomorphic in nature. That's why it's also known as polymorphonuclear leukocytes. Leukocytes means white blood cells. Now their role is, is bodies. Uh, the main role of the neutrophils is to defend our body from the infections. They are one of the first cell to, to be, you know, uh, recruited at the site of infection so their role is to destroy invading pathogens which includes viruses fungi bacteria etc so neutrophils they are one of the major component of the innate immune system and and if you want to know a little bit more about innate immunity so you should watch my videos where i've explained innate and adaptive immune system another thing neutrophils do is 
phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is basically engulfing and digesting pathogens. So imagine if, if there is one pathogen that is sitting outside like this, so we can, we can make it green in color. So just imagine this is the bacteria. Okay, I need to make one flagella so it looks like bacteria, right? So bacteria is there. Neutrophil, what neutrophil will do is basically it's going to engulf this bacteria entirely. So what it will do, it will come close to this particular bacteria, interact with its membrane, and then this bacteria is going to basically get ingested by this new neutrophil and then destruction of this bacteria will happen slowly slowly it's gonna it's gonna get destroyed and neutrophil will basically take care of all the cell debris from this bacteria anyway so that's in short is the process of phagocytosis but anyways what, what we're doing here is designing the neutrophils so we have designed the the outer membrane we filled it with different uh, shades of violet color and in the center we have nucleus you can you can use you know any other color you want it depends upon your preference usually people like a low colored or or the low alpha colored images because if you send these images to any journals they're going to like it then they are not spending a lot of ink if they are printing the illustrations Right, so that's the idea. That is why most of the time you will see in, in good journals the images are uh, uh, they are not that intense in color. Okay, so we made the nucleus. We discussed why the, this is the shape of the nucleus. Now I'm going to design some of the other parts, and then we can also discuss the functions of those those parts. I hope uh, you are you are also following up, and, and in the same way you are also designing the structure. And once it's done, you can use this structure in your in your projects, in your reports, and in your illustrations. That's how you basically design different different structures, and then you can combine it to make a very high quality graphic image. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and design some of the other important uh, structures that are in the neutrophils. Okay, so now we have two different types of structures that I've just created and uh, I'm sure you have seen that what are the options that I've used. So here you can see and uh, I'm sure many of you can recognize this structure. This is the mitochondria. So if you want to design mitochondria, I've made a detailed video on how to design uh, mitochondria. Uh, you should watch that video here quickly. I just made the mitochondrial illustration. Another structure that you're seeing at the the center of these two mitochondrial is, is the phagosome. So I already told you phagocytosis uh, will be carried out by neutrophils. So there must be some of the, the vesicles that are present inside the neutrophils. We can call them phagosomes. And these are uh, highly important because they play essential role in eliminating the pathogen, right? So these are some of the important structures. Now I'm going to design granules. That is one of the major part of neutrophil, neutrophil cell. Granules, they are important uh, 
for for many different functions there are different types of granules that are present neutrophil granules they are specialized organelles within neutrophils which contains variety of enzymes they contain antimicrobial peptides and other proteins that are involved in the destruction of invading pathogens so you need to have those granules in there so that the pathogens they can uh, get destroyed uh, neutrophil granules they have a xerophilic granules specific granules and tertiary granules and every every granule it, it is going to have special composition its unique composition and structure xerophilic granules contain enzymes such as myeloperoxidase elastase and some of the other proteins it can break down the pathogen then you have specific granules containing proteins such as lactoferrin then you have tertiary granules that contain variety of proteins involved in cell signaling and so on and so forth so if you want to study neutrophil in detail you should uh, you know you can also go to wikipedia page and read about the information regarding the neutrophils you're going to get a lot of lot of um, information regarding the function of neutrophils anyways some of the important points i have referred here and that is why i need to design those granules and i've mentioned already that what are the essential components uh, why they are essential components of the neutrophils and what are their functions okay so let's see this this is uh, basically i'm i'm not taking any idea for these colors i'm just you know following uh, my interest following uh, my affection towards any specific color so i'm just you can use uh, your choice of colors and make this neutrophil uh, the way you want it's your neutrophil right so you can design it accordingly and uh, and and you know use it in your projects so i've i've just created few more granules uh, not granules phagosomes just in case because uh, it was looking a little bit empty on that space it's a it's a cell so obviously it's going to have other structures also that that uh, those structures i'm going to i'm going to design and and um, also some of the important basic structures they are there i'm not going to design those because it, it will just make again the structure of eukaryotic cell i've made the structure of eukaryotic cell if you want to understand that you should refer to that video here we are more focused toward the neutrophil so what I'm going to do now is going to create other structures, important structures, and then label them. And that should basically create our illustration. Finally, I'm going to try something to make it a little bit better. Let's see how it works. Okay. So let me, let me start the design uh, process again. Okay, finally, I think uh, I was able to successfully design uh, Golgi apparatus. So you can see vesicles are there. Golgi apparatus plays uh, an important role in case of protein transportation. And additionally, we have made these granules. So next, what I'm going to do is add the labels that will create the final image and then you can save this image and I can show you how you can save this particular image and directly use this. Okay, so let me just uh, label all the components. 
and then that should be the final structure we can use in our scientific illustrations. All right, so I think finally everything is ready. All the structures, they, they are designed now. Cell is also looking nice. The structure looks okay. You have all the important structures. They are labeled. Phagosomes are there. We have discussed the role of phagosomes. Granules are there. Nucleus is there. Cytoplasm is there. Mitochondria and Golgi apparatus. Another thing that I told you that you can kind of like pack it and close it like this we just copy the first structure that we we designed and then uh, decrease the what you call is uh, transparency so go to this option and maybe create let's see 70 i don't know let's create 75 and see so if you want to make it a little bit darker so this is how you can create some some sort of a kind of an artifact uh, like this correct so you can see you can add up different shades onto onto this particular cell and everything uh, will be highlighted in that particular shade okay what else let's see can we can we do something else make it a little bit shiny so I was able to make it a little shinier uh, by just adding that 3d effect on top right so not this one this one looks much better so if I basically move this and now I can see the color is different and I want to use the same shade it will give it a, a kind of a jelly appearance when you merge it on the top it looks much better see that artifact is there right so a lot of things you can do and create fantastic images and now if you want to take something out so you just create take it out and then others they are going to be visualized a little bit less in contrast but the but this particular shade will be highlighted so this is how you can do a lot of things but I think for me this looks better so this is our final image and I hope uh, by watching this video you were able to uh, understand how we can design the neutrophil what is the function of neutrophil why, why it is important why there are granules inside neutrophils what is phagocytosis what is phagosome and um, you also knew how to actually create the neutrophil using simple PowerPoint software. Okay, I'll see you in my next video where we will try to construct something like this which will be related to the uh, related to different topics, cell biology, immunology, biochemistry and at the same time we will create something at the same time we will also understand the science behind that particular process or that particular structure so i'll meet you in my next video till then take care